Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make cannelloni. It's a delicious pasta dish, pasta tubes stuffed with a lovely mince filling and some lovely sauce on it and it really tastes delicious. So I hope you enjoy the video. And if you do like the video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media so they all know about the videos. If you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel. It's free of charge and it just lets you see nice videos every week. And just to give you a reminder, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any. So enjoy the video. Right, we're just gonna chop some onions. So put your tea towel underneath your chopping board to stop it sliding around. And slice the onions halfway from root end to other end. Okay, so chop off, not the root end, but the other end and slice along this way, not getting to the end and then cut along this way. We're just going to dice up some carrots, so chop off both ends. All right, so when you're cutting your carrots, you want really quite small diced, so make sure there's, they're quite thin in between each long strip and then nice and close together to get really nice small diced pieces. It just makes it a little bit easier if it, they're small. If you can't do that small, you can always grate them. So I'm using fresh basil today, so I'm just chopping this up ready to go. Right, now depending on what dish you're going to use, is depends on how much mince mixture you're gonna do. So I'll give you a guideline at the end of the video. But I'm using a big deep dish here, and you're going to be layering these in two layers. So there's one layer, so you want a dish that would be deep enough to have a second layer with also a little bit of room left over for your sauce. So to give you an example, this is a dish about an inch and a half high. Yes, it would fit two layers in just about, but it'd be touching the top. And then of course that doesn't allow any room for the sauce to be covering it. So you have to make sure it has got that little bit left over at the top. Right, so in a, la a large saucepan, we're going to add a bit of olive oil. Then we're going to add our onions and our carrots. Just give it a quick mix. Okay, so we're just going to put a lid on this and let this saute for about five minutes. Okay, so we're just adding our mince into the carrots and onions after about five minutes of sauteing. And you just give it the, the mince a bit of a squash down and a mix around and put your lid on and cook for another 10 minutes. Right, so after that 10 minutes, that's the time now just to give it another little stir and now leave the lid off. And you also want to season with some turmeric, some oregano, and then you want to season quarter teaspoon of pepper and half a teaspoon of salt. And you want to add some tomato puree. You want to put half a stock cube and about three teaspoons of hot water, not a lot, because you don't want this to be a liquidy, runny mixture. And any juice that's in here, because the lid is going to be left off, will actually disappear. Because at the moment you can see there's a little bit of juice there. So, if, Cook that until your juice has gone. Right, so with this mince, you want to let it cool because we're going to be adding a couple of eggs into it. And if you add the eggs in while the mince is hot, it, it's not going to be um, good. In the meantime, we'll be making a white sauce and our tomato sauce. Now, in this mixture, you could put some garlic if you wanted to. You could mix the, I've used pure beef mince, but you can use some pork, some beef. You can add other meats into it if you wanted to. You could even add ricotta cheese. It's really up to you what you do. Do put in the comments what you like to do with yours. But this is a beautiful recipe, how I do it, and it really will taste delicious. So carry on watching, I hope you enjoy it. So what we're gonna do is just pour this into a bowl. And if you do have any small amount of liquid, it will just absorb it into the mince as it cools. So by putting it into a bowl, it cools down a little bit quicker than leaving it in the pot. 
and at this point this is when you want to add your fresh basil okay so now to make your tomato sauce you simply just add either one or two cans depends on how much you're making i'd say do two cans it doesn't matter if you have a little bit too much because you could use it for something else the following day and you simply let this cook for a good 20 minutes and we want to add oregano i'm just putting in some dry basil and if you add one onion and a couple of cloves of garlic and then you can liquidize that after the 20 minutes of cooking it or if you didn't want to do that you can just leave it like this the tomatoes basil and oregano so we're just going to make some white sauce so melt your butter add your flour to make a roux keep stirring i've shown you this lots of times in lots of videos but this kind of sauce just gets used for so many different things we we'll cook this for about a minute now some people say that they might get lumps in their cheese sauce there's no reason why you should as long as you keep mixing and you're adding your milk slowly but if in the event you did get lumps just put it through a sieve and that will get rid of all your lumps so just add this milk slowly small bits at a time and the mixture will be thick just keep giving it a really good mix that's the secret to get no lumps is just allow it to be nice and thick like this I think the tendency people do is rush a load of milk in because they don't want lumps but that's what actually gives them the lumps see this goes nice and thick again but that's how it should be as you can see about the fourth or fifth time of adding the milk it starts to thin out a little bit and then just keep going and then it will get to the consistency that you want so into our belshami sauce you would just add a bit of nutmeg and as you can see this sauce is really nice and thick and that's how we want it right so into our cold mince we want to add eggs now i'm doing a large portion here so for every 500 grams of mince you want two eggs so i've got double that here now some people put breadcrumbs in this i don't bother i just leave it with the egg in the mince right now i never liquidized this tomato sauce i just left it sizzle away for a good half an hour and then i got the masher that you do your mashed potatoes with and squashed it and that's how i did buy tomato sauce so i'll just put a tomato base in the bottom of your dish then you get your pasta tubes filled with the mince and you just place it along like that now this dish happens to be the perfect size if you don't find the perfect size you just have to break it off like this to get the size that you want and i'll just show you how i put that in the tube right so we're going to get one of these disposable pipe bags i find that's the easiest way to get this mince mixture into the tubes some people use spoons it's up to you or you could just use your fingers and put it in that way so i'm just going to cut off about that much so that when it's opened up it's roughly the same size as that so just stand up your tube like that and the bag you just hold it over now the best way is if you're squeezing at the top sometimes juice comes up here and it, it doesn't necessarily go down into the tube so the easiest way to do it is just to squeeze the tube round about there and squeeze that mince into the tube it is a little bit fiddly but it's much easier than doing it with a spoon i think it takes two minutes to fill up just squash it down with your finger and then place it place it down like that and so we'll keep going along we've got nine tubes filled with our mince now we're going to add our tomato sauce on the top of that so this particular amount i use two tins of tomato and then we're going to carry on with the whole process again of filling these tubes okay so what we're going to do now is get our belshami sauce or white sauce and just pour that over the top you want a decent thickness of this this is why i told you earlier to make sure that you've got plenty of room above that second layer of tubes because you want to make sure this is all covered because if you don't then your pasta won't cook properly plus the flavor is just magnificent so we're going to put that into the oven and i'll show you that when it comes out so i would say for 
19 tubes is what I use so I would say probably 750 to 800 grams of mince it's a very difficult thing to see how much you're actually going to use because it does depend on your dish but to, to give you um, an average 19 tubes you need about 750 to 800 grams of mince for the white sauce you would need 60 grams of butter 60 grams of flour any type of flour and you need 600 ml of milk to have a nice thick white sauce so have fun and i'll show you when this comes out the oven so we're just going to cut into this now so you can see what it looks like So here we have a lovely cannelloni and it really is delicious and you can serve this with chips or vegetables like I have done today. Um, so I hope you like the video and I hope you've subscribed to the channel and look forward to doing more videos for you.